So this is your plan? You're gonna go into the convention waving a gun in people's faces, throwing tequila in everybody's eyes with a big-titted woman? Duh, yeah. Guest services. Tom. Can I help you, sir? Tom, give me the chips, Tom. All of them. No problemo. Frank, get the hell out of here. Your ideas oh, are oh, ridiculous. Oh, okay. People, welcome to the early morning, low effort weekly update because apparently that's what everyone else does with their goddamn three minute videos. So let's try to do that this week, all right? Minimal effort. Behind me right there, that is the Electro. This thing's pretty nice. I've got one of them. This week is all about bikes. Shameless Discord plug, by the way. Flip Rachi 212, the Straw Hats. Link in the description and right there. GTA News, the tab in extras. Look at it. Boom. Look at all the biking-themed bonus money, people. Three times rewards on deadline, on MC work, challenges, clubhouse contract, bike service deliveries, biker cell missions are giving double rewards. Even with two times rewards for biker cell missions, I don't know, the cocaine and meth businesses aren't that great, but if you were going to sell them ever and you have full warehouses, this would be the week to sell them. Arena war, double rewards. Do a biker cell mission, get the ride or die tucked tee. And look at all these sales that are biker related. I'll show them off in the game right now. The MC work, the challenges, the clubhouse contracts, all of those are going to be found over at your actual clubhouse, not here on, on any menus. But yeah, big thing this week, apart from the MC club work, is Deadline. And it's paying out triple rewards if you want to get your inner Tron on. And also the very rare two times rewards on all Arena War activities. If you wanted to stack up AP points, because you're a lunatic in this game, this is probably a good week to do that. There are some pretty crazy rewards you can get for stacking up AP points, but it takes forever. People, the MC Clubhouse, if you're not familiar. Shout out to the anime titties. People, these contracts aren't going to be that much money, but everything in here is basically paying out double this week. So that's it for all the bonus shmoney stuff. On to the sales. You know, the, you know, the shit that gets your dick real hard. Shout out to all the ladies out there that also have hard-ons. The absolute biggest thing on sale this week, by far, is found inside the clubhouse. You can't actually find it on the websites. Pigeon Boys! That's right, we're the Pigeon Boys! Pigeon Boys! <laughs> pigeon Boys? Doesn't sound that cool now as an adult. You're right. Every single one of these businesses is 40% off this week. If you don't own one of these and you don't understand what that means, let me break it down for you real quick. Long story short, buying one of each of those businesses allows you to source them in your nightclub. And if you didn't know about the nightclub, the nightclub is the only business in the game where you can passively source this stuff. Meaning you don't have to go do missions to get more meth or whatever. You can just tell some guy, hey, go get more meth for me, and he'll just do it every hour. And again, these are the five categories, and those are the five locations that I own, personally. But location for those does not really matter. I would just buy the cheapest one, in, especially for, like, document forgeries. But moving on to the other sales. Jesus Christ, we're already probably well past the three-minute mark. Minimal effort. I forgot. I have to put no effort into explaining any of this for newer players. The next biggest thing, probably, even though most of you probably already have one, clubhouses are all 40% off this week. Plus, so are their renovations. I mean, Love Fist is pretty goddamn dope, but that's not half bad either. Neither is that. Shout out to Anime Titties. Next up on Legendary, you've got two sales. First one, the Power Surge here. I have no thoughts on this because of minimal efforts. Three minute video time. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. 30% off. It probably isn't worth it, but hey, it's probably pretty fast. Also in motorcycles, the Shinobi here. Normally 2.5 million. I would, I would buy this. This, you can put Anime Titties on this. It's got anime titties, but what more do you want from me? Of course you should buy it. Especially when it's on sale. And then there's the last sale on the websites, the gargoyle here. It's also on sale over on Southern San Andreas, but more importantly, is the first secret sale of the week, people. All these upgrades... Death bike. It could just be the fucking apocalypse one. Either way, this upgrade is 40% off. You're going to have to take this stock version over to the Arena War and listen to him talk about his hard on, but yeah. Oh, but that's not all, people. There's like six hidden sales this week. Let's go find them real quick. Prize ride is the Strider behind me. Honestly, it looks kind of crazy. Top one two days in a row. I mean, look, it's probably not worth it, but it looks pretty good. Over here, you've got the second secret sale of the week. You've got the Reaver, the S key over there. I don't even know what that bike is, but this. The Cheetah? This is one of the first 10 cars I ever owned in this game. It, it normally costs like $700,000. It is on sale for 40% off its normal cost, and you can't buy it on the websites anymore. It's less than 400 grand. Highly recommend considering picking it up this week. Next up, Simeon's Place. You got the Shitaro here. This thing is not on sale. This thing is goddamn dope, though. 
Then you've got the Power Surge here, which is on sale. And, you know, if you wanted to give it a test drive before you bought it. Then you've got the Foggio Mod! People, buy this immediately. I don't think you can buy this normally anymore. And it's $80,000. You can put a thousand mirrors on the outside of it. I would highly recommend you pick that up. And then you got the BF Raptor here, the third secret sale of the week. This thing is 50% off its normal cost, normally $600,000, $324,000. It looks pretty cool, but does not perform very great. And then you've got the Cyclone behind me, which I don't think was removed, but, you know, if it was, there you go, you can buy it. And if not, well, either way, it's expensive as shit. It's not on sale, but if you want to test drive it, there you go. Flash GT and the Shinobi are over here at Luxury Autos. Minimal effort, who gives a shit? People, the fourth hidden sale this week, these deadline outfits that are real fancy, they light up like this. I've already bought all of them, so I actually don't know what the sale price is this week, but apparently they're 30% off their normal cost, and I think they're normally like 100 grand, so that's like 30 grand a pop you're saving for each of them. Oh, no! How the fuck do people make these weekly updates two and a half minutes long? I guess we'll never know. The gun van is right next to the casino today. As always, he moves every day, though, so make sure you check that interactive website if you're ever looking for him. 60 bullet SMG, only one in the game. That's definitely good to have. This right here, people, the combat shotgun. You used to only find this on Kaio Perico and is one of my most watched videos on YouTube. Maybe pick this up this week. You might not have it. Weed-themed SMG. I'm pretty sure it's just like that because I did the Franklin and Lamar missions, but still, though. AP pistol. That's just like that because I found the four USB sticks. As always, buy your weapons from him. They are always going to be cheaper. Yeah, Molotovs. Thanks, man. And that's it, people. That's the weekly update for you. I mean, check Rockstar's Newswire later today to make sure I didn't miss anything, but I'm pretty sure I got most of it. You know the spiel. Check the channel. Leave a like. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Do all the fun stuff. Check Twitch and Discord. Both those links are in every single goddamn description. Really appreciate all of you watching. Got some new videos in the works. I don't know how people make these weekly updates. Only three minutes or less. I guess they must really not care about you guys. They must, they must not give a shit about the people. I'm kidding. I don't know. We've all got our own methods. They probably just hire some editor who's like, I have to make this as quick as possible or I will literally die. Weekly update. Boom. Finished. Done. Peace. Minimal effort. I'm about to bust that shit up, Reese. I'm about to bust that shit up, boy. Absolutely. Bam. I mean, do other YouTubers give you the close-up ass shot to end the video? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs>